Hi, this is Bart with buildlog.net. Here's a quick video to show off a new CNC controller I designed. I've designed a lot of controllers over the years, but this one has me really excited. My past controllers were generally application specific. Most of my controllers use Gerbil ESP32 firmware. The I.O. on the ESP32 is very flexible, but somewhat limited in pin count. There have always been enough pins to control the machine, but not enough to make a general purpose CNC controller that can target any machine. Recently, support for I2S shift register chips has been added to the firmware. The shift register scheme supports 125 kHz jitter-free stepping with up to 32 output pins. To show off this new capability, I designed the universal controller I always wanted. A universal CNC controller covers a huge variety of options, so I quickly realized I would have to add some modularity to the design. This would allow you to pick the features you wanted and not have to pay for the ones you don't. It would also allow some amount of future-proofing. As new requirements are identified, new modules could be swapped out. Here is the controller I came up with. It is basically a motherboard that allows a lot of modules to be plugged into it. Along this side are six stepper motor driver modules. Along this and this side are five CNC I.O. modules. Over here is where the primary power comes in. This is a 5 volt DC power supply. This is a socket for an ESP32 development module. Here is a micro SD card socket. There's even a JTAG interface for help with development and debugging. The six driver sockets can either use plug-in drivers or external drivers. For the plug-in drivers, you can use standard step and direction modules like the Allegro A4988 or the TI DRV8825, or you can use Trinamic SPI drivers, including the big 3.5 amp TMC5160 driver. Each socket has an extra connector for stall guard interface. You can connect the stall guard directly to the uh, limit switch inputs using jumpers over here. For external drivers, you can replace the stepper module with a simple low-cost jumper module that reroutes the step, direction, enable signals to the external connectors. External drivers are driven from shift register chips that can drive optocouplers directly at 5 volts and 25 milliamps, thus getting around the problem that ESP32 GPIOs are out of spec for directly driving many optocouplers. There's a jumper on each module that allows you to select from common low or common high. Gerbil ESP32 firmware lets you use the motors very flexibly. You could either have a 6-axis machine or you can gang any two sockets together on an axis. That axis can be auto-squared during homing. Each module socket also has its own disable signal in case you want to move any axis manually. These five sockets are for use with CNC I.O. modules. CNC I.O. modules are designed to interface with your machine. Each module socket has four independent I.O. pins and four common pins. The common pins could be used for an I2C or SPI, etc. The primary input, motor voltage, 5 volt, and ground also go to each module. The voltages are only for powering basic electronics. If you want to make a high current DC spindle, for example, you would want to add a separate input for that power. There is a public spec for these modules. By following some basic pin usage rules, we hope even I.O. limited controllers can support a lot of modules. The modules are all open source. This could help people create their own modules. We currently have five types of modules available. This is the 4X switch input module. This module is designed to be very robust against noise, voltage, and spikes on four switch inputs. The signal enters through an optocoupler, goes through a little filtering, and then through a Schmidt trigger. It has three terminals per switch, signal, 5 volt, and ground. This can be used with basic two terminal switches, three wire rep rep style switches, many types of optical vein switches, 
and three wire 5 volt NPN proximity switches. This is a power relay module. This could be used to control a spindle, vacuum or coolant, valves, etc. It has a three position terminal block and an LED to indicate when the coil is on. This is a 0 to 10 volt analog voltage output module. This could be used to control a 0 to 10 volt spindle speed controller. The module also has two opto-isolated outputs for controlling the direction signals that some VFDs require. This is an RS-45 Modbus module. This is designed for use with VFD spindle controllers that have an RS-45 input. Currently the Huani Yang types are supported, but others will be added in the future. This is a 5 volt buffered output module. It has up to four 5 volt output signals. Each signal can be used as a binary output or PWM. This could be used for a spindle with PWM enable and direction signals. It would also work great with a laser power supply. It has an LED for each channel to indicate when it's on. We have a lot of ideas for future modules. Here are some that are being considered. A display, a pendant, additional stepper motors, hobby servos, solid state relays, closed loop motor controllers, and IO expansion. One module could act as a host for additional modules. The design is open source. The files are on GitHub. You can build one yourself or I will be selling them via my Tindy store soon. The design has been fully tested on prototype hardware. I have a small production run of controllers and modules on order to make sure that that goes smoothly, and then I will order larger batches. There are links in the description to a blog post on this. That blog post has all the links to the source file. Thanks for watching. Please give a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to follow this project.